We've got quite a mix of weather conditions across the British Isles in the next few days with a north-south temperature divide and there'll be a lot of precipitation on the way whether it's rain or snow. High temperatures today we're in London at 10 degrees, a lot of other places particularly in the east and south getting to 9 and not far from double figures. Low temperatures overnight, a few places fell below freezing, here's pretty much all of them. Arnak Moor being the coldest in the Scottish Highlands at minus 3, with some precipitation, mainly sleet, although a little bit of rain as well. Current warnings, there are winter weather advisories for that western part of Scotland, in the Highlands mainly for potential snowfall and frost advisories further east. High wind warnings also for the southwest of England and Wales. Looking into tonight's period, you'll see this big extratropical cyclone moving through from the southwest with a lot of precipitation coming through and temperatures will be falling quite a way as well, down to around 2 or 3 degrees across most of England and Wales. Uh, the winds will be coming in there quite strong and as this system moves through over the course of Tuesday those temperatures will rapidly rise as the Atlantic air uh, moves through but at the leading edge of it it could be slightly wintry in terms of that precipitation belt but it will eventually turn to rain completely. High temperatures on Tuesday getting up to around 7 degrees in northern Scotland, a lot of precipitation on that west coast there and that will eventually turn to wintry showers, particularly on the higher hills in Scotland. Uh, but on lower ground it will be much warmer, temperatures into double figures across much of southern Scotland, the whole of England and Wales and across uh, Ireland as well, with 13 degrees the high in Dublin and in parts of the southwest of England. In the southern part of the country it's going to remain overcast and there'll be a little less rainfall there but that first band will be affecting pretty much everywhere as we go into the morning hours of Tuesday but clearing up a little bit in the afternoon. That warm air will have completely uh, traversed through the country by the end of the day and those winds will have uh, buffeted the whole region and will be over the North Sea by then as well. Of course it's the western coastlines that will be getting the worst of the winds. Moving through the rest of Tuesday, you can see that system move off and then perhaps this next one coming, but mainly a clear night with cooler temperatures and possibly some snow showers over parts of Scotland with loads of one up there. In Wednesday, on rent Wednesday, there's another line of rainfall brushing through there. Uh, Scotland is going to remain only partly cloudy, so some clear skies there and temperatures will remain low in some areas, only getting to around 5 or 6. Along the coastline mainly, it will be wetter uh, and those temperatures will be milder as well, 7 or 8 degrees the high, which is around average for this time of year. Further south across Engl England and Wales, it's going to be relatively similar as well, with a lot more rainfall, it's going to be quite a dry day but with sunny intervals starting to appear in the later part of the day. Across Ireland after that rain moves through early on most of the country will remain dry after that with partly cloudy skies further north although rain may continue to persist in the Cork region. Temperatures around 8 degrees there and across southern England wet but warmer 10 degrees uh, but still not much to shout about of course at this time of year. And again it will be a breezy day, particularly on the southern side of this system and a big front of uh, strong winds moving through towards Northern Ireland there and quite a bit affecting the southwestern part of England. This next line moves through with lots of rainfall for the southern part of England and Ireland and uh, more, much clearer further north, uh, much clearer skies down to 1 degree Celsius there. And on Thursday the next system is starting to move through and so we've got much more precipitation on the way, strong winds and this really is the pattern that we're in right now, a big contrast to December. Uh, we are looking very much at this wet and windy cycle of system after system that blow through the country and Temperatures are uh, quite split there, 12 degrees in the south, 6 degrees in the north of Scotland, and that's on Thursday's forecast. <laughs>